At Aberdeen we're really pleased and proud to be supporting the Edinburgh International Festival At Home programme. It's great that the At Home programme is there to extend all of the excitement and the pleasure that the festival brings. When the festival first spoke to me about creating the films, they were very keen to create a series of films that were kind of pieces of work in themselves. That's something that felt quite exciting and kind of free and creatively from the beginning of the project. And so what we've tried to do is work with each individual contributor to make the work sing as much as it possibly can while still making them feel like a cohesive vision as a set five short films that all need something a bit different. Part of the brief was that we really wanted to see a lot of Edinburgh and some of the films we wanted them to move from different locations to be able to see some sites and parts of the city that maybe you haven't seen before on film or you don't see as much, maybe to see them in a different way than you might normally. Nick Shoesmith ran a photo shoot on the National Monument before and he just loved it. And as soon as we started to talk about the project, he was like, that's just the image that comes to mind. We're filming in different locations that give us a variety of different elements. So it's not just something that can be performed on stage, it's really specific to where it is. We're very fortunate to have the National Monument here that's obviously such heavy, dense stone, and has a real sense of weight to it. We started to riff off that a wee bit with it feeling like this quite sort of big, old monument texture and then we thought okay well what other textures can we show? Looking at different elements we've got some air upon some other hills in some nice long grass so that we could really see air as another element. And we really wanted to show the beach at Portobello because I think a lot of people don't know that there is a beach like really close to the centre of Edinburgh. We thought right that's sand and water. Wandering through Edinburgh at this time of year through the festival there's just so much going on and you can just drift from like one thing to the other I almost wanted to capture some of that sense of just drifting and then we just find something, find a moment of performance and then drift out of it again and find something completely different elsewhere. Today we're filming my poem in different parts of Edinburgh with Dunbar Close Gardens, which is one of my most favourite places of Edinburgh to escape to. One of the special things about Edinburgh is that it's so diverse and actually it's been quite an amazing experience for me because I've seen sides and parts of Edinburgh that I'd never experienced before. So we wanted to kind of really get around and see all aspects and different sides, whether that's architecturally or whether that's the landscape or whether that's just the atmosphere in the city. Really great to be back and see Edinburgh. You know, I have a great affinity with Scotland and my people do. And it's about the song lines of our earth that sort of bring us together, you know, through the same hardships and turmoil. And but also joy and happiness as well. Even though it's a different landscape to my mother country, it has the same intention, nourishing and respecting the language of the earth and that sharing culture, which we all do have. Edinburgh kind of feels like the final kind of character in the project, and that was important for me to make sure that we reflected that, you know, when we really felt the sense of its personality in the film. What I sense is it's an interest in re-looking and re-examining our history. Especially for Edinburgh, I suppose, is that it is a city that's constantly changing. And I think I wanted to create a poem which was about the city constantly changes, but so does our culture and so, so does our idea of ourselves. And actually, everyone can contribute and everyone can add to that story to try and make it feel inclusive. An invitation for people to kind of add into that story and add into, as opposed to the festival, that belongs to everyone. A very special piece I wrote is an acknowledgement to my ancestors. So I'm singing Kalkadoon Man, Kalkadoon Woman, teaching young Billa Billa around the campfire in the night how to listen, watch and learn. So it's about that oral tradition of passing on our language and culture. I think when you're doing something live, it's very much of the moment you're responding to the people that you're performing to. Improvisation for me is very important, so I improvise on a very well-known Gershwin song, Summertime. Performing for a live audience, of course, is, is, is a one-time event. But for film, one has to do many retakes because, I mean, of course, you've got to put all the different angles together. Although, when I filmed, it became very dark. There's a kind of what they call this ha. Is that right? Is that? A mist that comes over. With film, it feels more intimate because you're, in a sense, you don't really have an audience. The camera becomes the audience. They're very different mediums, but hopefully that they'll both add something to the poem. I've really enjoyed doing this.